<laughs> yes, I knew him. What have you going to do up there? You are coming from my bedroom with my husband. Haven't I warned you? Never, never to let me see you with my husband again. I said, what have you come to do in my right house? Right there. Is something wrong with you? No. Are you all right? No. Don't talk to me. You shameless pig. You brought this prostitute into our house again? I saw both of you coming from upstairs. What have you gone to do with her upstairs? Oh, you took her into her bedroom. Eh? You shameless pig. Ah! Whatever happens in this house, I am your husband and this is my house. Don't you ever call me a pig again. Never. Buddy, you slapped me. You slapped me for this prostitute you brought into our house. Even into my bedroom. Excuse me, woman. You could call your husband a pig. Or whatever name you choose to call him. But never, never call me a prostitute. Never. You stepped into my house. Entered into my bedroom and probably slept on my bed. And you still have the hair for trip to dish me an order on what to say or what not to say in my own house. <laughs> if you are not a prostitute, then what are you? If you are a responsible woman with a husband of yours, will you be trailing another woman's husband about? You high stinking prostitute! Woman! I warn you! Body, I won't take that insult from that thing you call your wife. Imagine she called me a prostitute. Me? Ura, a so prostitute? Ura, I so would accept it. Me. I would accept it. I will not accept that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You should understand. I won't let you know that. I won't pull up. Woman. Look. Maybe, are you mad? That is just cold water. And it is a sample. Leave my husband alone. Next time, it isn't going to be water, but concentrated acid. have done your worst. You embarrassed my guest. I assure you, you pay dearly for this. You will regret it, I swear. Huh?
will be daytime and nighttime in the nighttime in the nighttime I know How are you? <laughs> Fine, but. Amolola, um, how are you? Uh -uh. Fine, girl. How are you? Sure, you are looking after mommy. <laughs> Mo uh -uh. What is the matter? It was terrible again yesterday, half to you, but. Uh -uh. Is the pastor around? He has not come from the regional conference. Mm. He won't be back until tomorrow evening. What happened again? Please tell him about that. My husband brought a woman home again. Uh -uh. I came home and I saw both of them coming from upstairs. I became mad. I had to challenge him and talk to him rudely. The next thing he did was to slap me. Uh -huh. I was so annoyed. I had, I had to throw a cup of water on the woman's face and drench her. Mama Tope, ah! I have told you, you can't fight this battle with your physical efforts. Ah! Don't you believe that the Lord Jesus, who touched your life and changed you, could also transform his, his life too? I, I, I call him a pig. Eh? What? You called your husband a pig? Ah, oh, no. That is terrible. Ah, uh ah, -uh, that is out of it. Mama Tope, uh -uh. have you forgotten that you unbelievers in the darkness of the world before the Lord Jesus saved you? You need to believe the Lord for a miracle in his life, too. Actually, when the whole thing was over, I was so sad, and I had to pray that God should forgive me. Well, that is not enough. I have to be frank with you. You need to go back to him and apologize. Mama Tope, it is very important. Don't forget that your light should shine so bright that you realize it's in darkness. Let your light attract him to Jesus. The way you show your love, your patience, your endurance, let it attract him to Jesus. Mama Tope. I understand, but the Lord will help me. concerns me. You have saved my soul from the darkness of this world. What are you going to save my husband? What are you going to save him, Lord? Save him? Perfect my joy? Oh, Lord, you said the heart of the king is in your heart. And that like a river of water, you direct it to wherever you will. Father, touch my husband. Lighten. Are you blind? Can't you see that it is past midnight already? Must you wake up the whole neighborhood because you're... Huh? Or must you pray so loud so that everybody around will know that you go to church? Look, you are disturbing my sleep with your rattling. Hear? I'm sorry. I wasn't aware my voice was off. Mm. I'm sorry. You better be aware, rotten hypocrite. Add it up. Yes. What is it? Come on. 
You mean I should come and sit down and discuss here with you at this time of the night? Look, I have worked all day and I need to sleep, okay? Say whatever you want to say fast, I'm listening. Or you leave it till tomorrow morning. For the past two months now, you've not allowed me to sleep in the room. You have pushed me here all alone. Did I push you out of the house? At least you have a whole room to yourself, don't you? But that is not enough. We are husband and wife. You are my husband. Is anybody disputing that with you? Look, I can see that you have nothing important to discuss with me. Please, don't dry up my sleep. Good night. Daddy Toko. Daddy Toko. What is it? Hmm. Can I come into the room now? To come and do what? Everybody. Sit down, sit down. Thank you, sir. I never knew you'd come. Yes, I, I came rather late this morning. You know, hangover as a result of yesterday's uh, party. I'm very sorry, sir. I couldn't attend the send of patent in honor of Mr. Lamikos yesterday. In fact, that's why I called you. I wanted to find out why you had to be absent from such you know, a gathering of special invitees. I looked all over the place for you last night. I was rather disappointed that you were not there. I'm very sorry, sir. I no, didn't make it. No, no. That apology can never ever make up for the wonderful moment you missed, you know? Well, I promise to make up for the time I've missed next time. I will honor an invitation to any send of party in the future. Mr. Ajibadi, there might not be any send of party for a very long time to come. So how about making it up this evening? I have a program this evening, sir. Mr. Ajibadi. You disappointed too many people last night, myself in particular. So why don't you go ahead and disappoint those people tonight? Let's make it this evening. Unless tomorrow evening. No, no. It's got to be today, this evening, at Africana Night Plaza. Promise me. Excuse me, sir. Are you trying to date me? Mrs. Ajibadi, are you a baby? Of course, what do you think I'm trying to do? Or you don't want to go out with me? I can't do it, sir. I'm married. I know you are married. You are Mrs. Ajibadi. Your husband is Mr. Ajibadi. Is that not so? Then why are you proposing such a thing to me? Because you don't expect me to start going out with those people who are responsible girls outside. Mrs. Ajibadi, you are married. Very beautiful. And you are the kind of person that I would like to go out with. Look here, What are you thinking about? Look, these things happen all over the corporate places like this. And so it's not new. I can't do it, sir. I'm married. I have children. And my husband is responsible. I love him. And besides, I can't. I can't do it. I'm a Christian. So am I. So am I. I'm married and I have children too. But you know, sometimes what you have at home can never give you as much joy as what you have outside. Well, as a Christian, sir, I believe despite what you see outside, 
Jesus can still put joy in the home. All right, all right, Mr. Akbari. Mark you, I don't give up easily on the very good thing. So I'll still be on you. Now for business. <clears throat> I, I ordered the accounts department to check through the financial report of the Lagos branch. Yes, Mr. Idowu is working on it. The accountants still want to cost check. All right, that's good. How are you? I've been waiting. Oh, you have to go and make some food quickly. The table is already set. It is a dish this evening. Very thoughtful of you. Well, this is nice. Thank you, darling. But the food can't be enough. What's the problem, darling? I said the food can't be enough. I'm expecting some friends in a few minutes. the manager of another branch. Really? Mm -hmm. So it's a promotion with transfer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. We have the bottle of wine too. Mm -hmm. Really? Let's yeah. see. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple and orange juice today. I'm sorry. I'm take this again. I'm sorry. My wife bought it for me. <laughs> she had one again. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, let me introduce her to you. Ooh. Um, Lide. Yes, darling. Lide. Yes. Come and meet my friends. <laughs> oh, oh. Nice to meet you. Ah. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? You're fine. Modestica. You didn't tell us we have such a beautiful oh. wife. Uh? Oh, yes, except that she's born again. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Betty. Oh, that's Betty. That's Betty. Thank you. Oh, yes. Let's go to the table. Oh, sure. Uh, go to the table. Oh, wonderful. Betty, celebration time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Excuse me, please. Uh, Rice, uh, <laughs> salad. Oh, fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's your celebration uh, time. Uh, <laughs> look, it looks as if um, uh, this food is a bit small. Uh, there are only four pieces of chicken there. Uh, we need to rush on it. Eh? Actually, <laughs> my wife prepared this small food for us. Uh -huh. Maybe she intends to pray over it for Jesus to come and multiply. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Is the chicken finished? Go and serve us more and don't keep anything in the kitchen. Go! <laughs> Betty, baby, I trust you. <laughs> I can tell something I'm going to do about that. This food is nice. Betty, thank you, my dear. That's what it's What is it? I want to have some words with you. We can't stand like this at all. Let me go inside. Come in and say it. Yes. What is it? Daddy took away. You treated me badly before your friends this evening. Is that so? What did I do? How did I treat you? I introduced you as my wife and they greeted you nicely. So, why have I gone wrong? You made them laugh at me. The way you told them I'm born again. Are you now ashamed of being called a born again Christian before friends? No, I'm not. But you never told me you are coming home with them this evening. I will have made more preparation for their coming. Do you know I have no food to eat tonight? 
I drank only a cup of tea. I made the food for both of us, but I had none to eat. Was that why you refused to give water to Pedro when he was begging you for water? <laughs> you were annoyed that my friends came home to eat the food you prepared? Is that a good Christian attitude? Huh? Look at my finger. I was going to bring the water when the jar accidentally dropped down and shattered. As I was picking the broken pieces, I cut my finger. Look, it was a deep cut. That was a quick judgment. It was obvious that you never wanted my friends to eat your food. All right. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. That is okay. You never told me you were promoted. Because I knew you were still going to find out on the evening. And now that you already know, do I still have to present it in any special way? Hey, but at least as your wife, I should be the first person to know. I looked so embarrassed when they were saying it this evening. You were embarrassed that I was promoted? No, I don't mean that. Thank God, I'm happy at the promotion. And thank God I made something for the celebration too. You thank God. That is okay. Where were you transferred to? You'll get to know that later. in my matrimonial duty. The first four years of our marriage was so blissful and memorable. But things suddenly changed when I gave my life to Jesus and became born again. Are you not happy about my new way of life? Am I not taking good care of you? All right, all right, all right. You have not offended me in any way. But if you feel you have, I've forgiven you, that's all. Thank you. What? What do you think you're doing? Who told you to mount the bed? Don't you have your room? <laughs> no, no. I need peace. I want to be here all alone. Now go to your room. Get up and go to your room! Out! Ah. Hey. Hey. Why don't you kill me? Why don't you kill me? You just hate me for no reason. You hate me and you lock other women outside. Your matrimonial. What have I done for you? Why? 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 Oh, because you divorced me. No. No. You are making too much. No. You are making too much. I want I want the whole world to know that you hate me. You hate me for no reason. What have I done for you? Oh, no. I'm not going out. out. What? Out. I said out. Out. I'm not going out. I said out. I'm not going out. Look out. I'm not going out. 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 Keeper of his 
Israel. He'll never ever sleep, no slumber, no love, because he's watching over me. I say the keeper of Israel will never sleep, no slumber, because he's watching over me. And I awake only because he's watching over me. Is Daddy good? Did he tell you he was going somewhere? Yes, when I was going to school this morning, he told me that I would be traveling and I should and I should behave well and be a good boy. Ah, well, yeah. your dad has been promoted. Yeah. He's going on transfer to head another branch of the company. But not to worry, he is not going now. The company has not yet made a preparation for the transfer. He will still be around for a month or two. Okay. He'll never ever sleep, no slumber, no love. Because he's watching over me. I say the keeper of Israel. We'll never sleep, no slumber, because he's watching over me. Madam, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, and uh, uh, God, they just come off for house now in no past five minutes, oh. He don't come? Yes, madam. He, he go back to office. Ah, no, madam. But it be like, say, he did travel. Travel? Uh, because I help him carry two boxes inside in car. To where? I, I, I don't know, madam. I don't know. But it be like, say, he did travel. Because I help him carry two boxes for him, for him car. to head another branch of our company as I had informed you. It is mandatory for me to resume duty tomorrow, so I had to go. I think my transfer will do you some good as you will have more time for your prayers and Jesus. Take good care of my kids. It's me, Ode. Ah, and that is all. Just late. That is all. No information about where he was transferred to. Uh, no mention of when he will come back for me and the kids. No proper arrangement for our welfare. He just left.
excuse me, sir. There's a woman waiting to see you. Oh, yes. Mrs. Ajibadi, Ajibadi's wife. Hmm. Yes, yes. But didn't you travel with him to Adokuta? No, sir. He left yesterday afternoon. But did he say he was going with me? Well, he told us here that he would like to go with his wife. So we had to make an arrangement for a family accommodation. That was why he didn't go until yesterday afternoon. He ought to have resumed in the branch office two weeks ago. So he's been aware of the transfer and promotion not before now? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have been arranging for the transfer and a proper accommodation for him and his family for the past two weeks. In fact, we were, excuse me, didn't he tell you all this? No, sir. And then you are sure you are his wife? We have two children, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes. he said so. He said so. And he didn't tell you all these things I was saying. Then, it will not be wise for me to say anything further. Since this is a purely family matter, which I would not like to meddle in. But, excuse me, sir. Yes? Can you give me the address of the new branch in Abiyokuta? The branch office address? Yes. Madam, are you on phone? Yes, sir. Put her to by the office. Can I give you my, my card? No, no, no. It's not necessary. I was only asking. So that any time he calls, I will inform him to contact you and give you all the necessary information you require. Sir? Is he on phone? Yes, yes. He's on phone. He's on phone. But I can't give any information pertaining to Mr. Jibadin now. He will be in the best position to answer all your questions. It's nice. It's nice talking with you. Take good care of my kids. He told us here that he would like to go with his wife. So we had to make an arrangement for a family accommodation. Jesus. What does this mean? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Sarah. What is it? As a meeting? Yes, ma'am. Are you? Yes, ma'am. Then what is it? There is a man in the living room. He wants to see you. A man? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Really? Yeah, Mr. Pedro. Yeah. But this phrase. <laughs> That's a sharp memory. You still remember from the last time we came to visit Bodestika? <laughs> Bodestika? Yes. You mean my husband? That's what we call him. <laughs> Don't mind us. What can I offer you? Please? Anything you have. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> uh, so how are you coping? 
The Lord is with us. We are not alone. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I mean, physically, how is everything generally? We are fine. I and then, uh, by the way, but they forgot to leave the hundreds of his new residents in, in, in Abel Kuta. Mm hmm? <laughs> that rascal. <laughs> but they and still can. I have not even heard from him. He has not told me since. Ah. Yeah. Ah, ah. That's very bad of him. Did he tell you he was going with his wife? Yes. He said so. Yes. That is what he told his boss to. And the company made arrangements of a family residence for him. But he never told me he was going with me. <laughs> well, maybe he went with someone, someone else as his wife. Hmm? Oh, yes, what did you just say? I will, actually. You know, since he had told everybody he was going with his wife, hmm? because if he told his boss that he was going with his wife, and he told us he was going with his wife, and he did not go with you, it's just an assumption. Don't bother. Anyway, do you have the address with you? Why are you bothering yourself? Eh? Why are you bothering yourself? If he wants to play a game on you over there, why can't you not play the same game on him also? Huh? Have some fun. Have some fun, baby. Have some fun. I can't do that. I can't play game on him. He's my husband. Mm. And I'm a child of God. Come off it. No, come off it, baby. This guy is sinning against God too. Huh? Do something. Come on, be strong. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. You see, if a man does not show love to a beautiful woman like you, you don't need to waste your love on him. Huh? You throw your love somewhere else where it will be appreciated. Huh? Pedro. Do you have a wife? Yes, I do. How will you feel if your wife began to play game with you? I don't care. I mean, I don't care. Look, if I throw my love on a woman and she doesn't appreciate it, I won't waste my love on her. How can I love a woman who does not appreciate the love I have for her? Others are doing that. I can't do it. I can't play game on him. I'm a child of God. And I believe the Lord will intervene in my case. <laughs> Rubbish! 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 That is a bunch of rubbish! Imagine the one I call my wife. At least she says she's a born again Christian. At least she carries a Bible about. Rubbish! You mean your wife is a born-again Christian? <laughs> yes. She too calls herself a born-again child of God. Imagine my born-again wife getting married to the Bible and prayers and locking up herself in a separate room. What a bunch of rubbish! Pedro, tell me more. How? The born again not has taken herself completely away from me, denying me all my marital rights as a husband. Rubbish! She abandons me alone in our room and she locks herself up in a separate room. Whenever I approach her, I meet the door locked and I call, I call, I knock, I hear her shouting and praying in a language that nobody understands. Pedro, do you still love her? I'm not sure. She has wounded my love for her. My love for her has been injured because I have tried 
tried all I could. I have bought her gifts. Presents. I have given her surprises. And when I try to explain to her, she tells me that I should wait until her fasting and prayers are over. Rubbish! Have you now begun to play a game on her? Yeah. I am starting. I am starting to play real games on her, baby. Real games on her. Because I am not going to throw my love where it won't be appreciated. But I am now going to throw it where it's going to be appreciated, huh? <laughs> Don't do that, Pedro. Fire does not quench fire. That will be seated against God. What do you want me to do? You want me to kill myself? Huh? You want me to kill myself? What should I do? I have tried and tried to show her all the love that I can, but she seems to be too religious to stay in the same room and sleep on the same bed with me. Pedro, don't withdraw your love from her. Be patient with her. Things will soon change. You are a living proof that loving women can at the same time be religious. I see it in the way you love your husband. But he does not love you that much. I doubt it. In my own case, nature has bestowed upon me a wife that is not that loving. Pedro, why do you say you doubt my husband's love for me? He has warned us not to give you that address. Make sure you find time and go and look for him and Abelkuta. Understand? Oh, thank you, Pedro. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. I've got to go. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Thank you very much. Thank you. Very you see, I came here with intention to take you out to the club and have a nice time. But you have changed my heart. I'll see you. Very good. Okay, bye bye. Thank you very much. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. Please come. You just come. All right. Hey, hold up. Why are you in such a hurry? I've seen the Hemby to take permission. I must be in Abekuta before 6. This is just 4 o'clock. There's still time. And I will be late tomorrow morning. I've told right. him that too. All right. All right. Bye. And wait a minute. Are you going in your car? No, I can't drive that long. I will go in the car. All right. Have All a right. safe journey then. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. He will never sleep, no slumber. He is watching over me. I say the keeper of Israel will never sleep, no slumber. He is watching over me. Day and night. He is watching over me. I sleep and I wake because He is watching over me. I know the keeper of Israel. He'll never ever sleep, no slumber, no, no because He is watching over me. Yeah. 
Do you know this address? Yes. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. No, no. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yes, I know. Can you take me to the place? Because it's very big for our place. So. Eh, hey, no problem now. Because it's hard money. Because I will give you. I will give you. I will increase your money. Anyway, so when we enter. Day and night. 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 Day and Good evening. How did you manage to get here? You left me and the kids behind. Did I not tell you I have been transferred? But at least we should have made some preparation for the welfare of the kids. It is like you abandoned us. Can't you understand? So, what have you come to do? Are you asking me that question? I've come to see you, of course. You couldn't even wait to say goodbye to the kids. What, what do you think you are doing? Sitting down? I should not sit. You are going back to Ibadan tonight. I'm not ready for your visiting yet. Going back to Ibadan tonight? Aren't you happy to see me at all? What day? your wife. Who is that lady? What? Was that not the lady who came with your friends to celebrate with me? Since you already know her, she needs no introduction. Oh, Jesus. You were discussing together that night. You were talking and eating together. I never knew you were putting finishing touches to your movement. Look, Lady, you are going back to Ibadan tonight. Going back to Ibadan tonight? You must be out of your mind. Me? Out of my mind? Pushing your wife out at this middle of the night? To understand, I'm sleeping here with you tonight. Not in this house. Here? Not in this house! Body, you want me out of the house for a street girl? of the room. Go and get her out of that room now before I throw her away. I did not disturb her anybody, so I do not see any reason 
Why should you come here and disturb me? Go now, buddy, and bring her out of that place. Now, buddy. Buddy, now. Now. Lady, you can't stay here tonight. It's not possible. This is my husband, and you know that very well. You came with his friend to my house. You hit my food. You drank my water. <laughs> you can't stay here. It's never possible. Shut up! You are out of your mind. I mean, something has gone into you. I decide who stays in this house and who doesn't. You are going back to Ibadan tonight. But this? Instead of dying on the road to Ibado, I'd rather die here in my husband's bedroom. <laughs> do you know what we're doing, buddy? Do you, do you understand what we're doing? You abandoned your wife and children for a mere street girl here. Who is the street girl? Who is the street girl? Never! Betty! Never! Betty. Never Betty. you call Betty. me a street girl! Betty. 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 Never, Betty. Betty. Never. Betty. Never you call me a street girl! Or do you see me hanging on the street? Betty. Get up, 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 get Go. Go, go, go. When you know you don't need me, why did you tell me instead of subjecting me to this horrible humiliation? Look, if it is too late for you to go back to Ibadan tonight, just sleep here quietly. Don't disturb my peace. Oh dear. Yeah? Body, body, body. <laughs> oh Jesus, what is happening to me? I can't stand this horrible relation any further. Can't stand this. Ah oh, Jesus, why can't you fight for me? I love you. And I want to save you. But I can't bear this situation any further. I can't bear this. You, you said you have the whole world in your hands. Why can't you touch this man? Is any man too hard for you to touch? Is any man too difficult for you to change? Jesus! <laughs> Ah, Mr. Ibari. Yeah, I sent for you. Sit down. Thank you, sir. I wanted to ask, how was your trip to Abekuta? Did you see your husband? Yeah. He's fine. I saw him. Thank you, sir. You look worried. What's the problem? Anyhow, I... I once told you that I don't give up easily on good things. So I'm back on my request. What request, sir? About tonight at... Africana Night Plaza. I've told you, sir. I can't do it. I'm married. I love my husband. And besides, I'm a Christian. All those things you're saying are not new. Look, I have my wife too, and I have kids. When your husband is over there in Abekuta, my wife is in Lagos. But life must continue. I can't do it. Mr. Kibani, 
you are turning down my request for the second time. Now I repeat, your husband is not here, but you are here. Mr. Ajibadi, life surely must go on. I can't do it, sir. I can't. I can't do it. No, no, no. It's all right. No, no, it's all right. It's all right. Please, please, pull yourself together now. Pull yourself together. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry if I said anything to offend you. I'm sorry. Miss Sajibadi? Yes, sir. All the same. I will be at African Nights Plaza tonight by 7 o'clock. And I'll wait till 8 o'clock. If I don't see you, then I'll leave. He does not show you enough love. Why waste your love on him? Throw your love somewhere else. Somewhere where it will be appreciated. Hmm? Why don't you kill me? I said, I Why don't you kill me? You just hate me for no reason. Then you hate me and you lock other women outside. Do you know what you're doing, buddy? Do you, do you understand what you're doing? You abandoned your wife and children. For a mere street girl here. Who is a street girl? Who is a street girl? Never! Locked the door. You're surprised at my new appearance. Well, I know, but it is necessary. Okay? Yes. <clears throat> ah. Ah. You look so different. Where are you going? Mamatope, we didn't hear from you since yesterday. Hope there is no problem. You told us that you will go and find out about the location of your husband's new transfer. Do you now know where he's transferred to? But he has decided to live the way he wants. And so, I too have decided to live the way I want to. Ah, ah. Matope, ah, you can't do that. Ah, no, 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 you can't do that. I mean, where do you put the Holy Spirit? You can't just decide like that, Matope, please. Please, Mama Tope. It is already decided, ma. I've decided to live the way that pleases me most. Ah, ah, ah. No, Mama Tope, please listen. Please listen. I mean, no matter the level of evil your husband might have done to you, however painful the wrongdoing might have been, you have no excuse to go against the will of God. I mean, for you to deliberately give yourself over to sin now, just to pay back your husband's wrongdoing, will amount to willful disobedience against the Lord. Excuse me. Ah. Matope, I'm running out of time. Ah. I have an appointment. Ah.
you have been waiting for the past 15 minutes. But something just told me that you'll come. Well, yeah, I have. <laughs> Ravishing beauty you are. Hey, my oh my. You know you're a rare model. This is like, sorry, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Stand here all day long. No, no, no. Let's just go to the restaurant and have something to eat first, okay? Okay. When all your hope is gone and there's nowhere to turn, it will be alright. Though darkness surrounds your way every day, it will be alright. Right, right. When all your friends are Is now. You will touch you. You open our eyes, you know, and bring you back to you in the name of Jesus. We ask for the power of restoration. You restore your daughter in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for God. You are merciful, Father. Be merciful to you in the name of Jesus. Open what up.
What's the matter? I don't know. I just don't know. Why this sudden change in your mood? I don't know what is wrong with me. I just don't know. Okay now. Let me be your doctor. I know what's wrong with you. And I'll give you a prescription now. You know what you do? Right inside. Mm -hmm. Take off your dress. Move into the bathroom. Have a warm shower. And I'm sure by the time you come out, you'll be just perfect. Mm -hmm. Come on. Don't touch me. I beg your pardon. You hurt me, sir. I said don't touch me. I shouldn't touch you. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry if I've hurt you. I'm sorry for this embarrassment. This sudden change in your mood. What's the matter? I can't do it. I just can't do it. It'll be too much for me. The me... guilt will be too much. You mean you brought me here to waste my time? Why did you take me this far? When I was looking forward to having a nice time. I'm sorry, sir. It will be seen against God and against my husband. I can't do it. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. You, you won't go. I won't allow you to go. Please, sir. As a responsible man, I know you won't force me. I've sinned by coming here, but I don't want to go into deeper sin. Please. I'm sorry for this embarrassment. I'm sorry. Please. Open that door and get yourself out of this room. Fast! You brought me here to embarrass me. Hey, sorry, sir. Get out! You're a fool! Get out! Lizzie, call me 
Let's just hide you by the trees. Sorry, madam. I don't know what you are talking about. Too. Look, I don't remember seeing you yesterday. Okay, I didn't. I can't remember. You, you, I didn't see you yesterday. And you didn't see me. All right. Sorry, sir. Very sorry. What letter is this? Sir? It's yours. That's your sack letter. You are dismissed. Sack? I'm sorry, sir. I say I don't understand what you are sorry for. Look here, woman. I don't remember seeing you yesterday. Okay? Please. I, I was in bed through, I slept through yesterday. So you didn't see me and I didn't see you, all right? Please, sir, please. <laughs> oh, please, sir. Mr. Malade, please come here. Please, sir, please. Please do suck me. I'm very sorry. Mr. Ajibade is dismissed with immediate effect. Sacked? Yes. I've been watching her movement for quite some time now, and it's not been in the interest of this company, all right? She traveled for about two days without proper permission. But, sir, I, I, I thought she said you gave her permission. I never did, uh, and that is not true. Many times she leaves the office at 2 o'clock, some of the time 1 p.m., and I've got to put a stop to such official indiscipline, okay? So please, Surrender all company's properties in your possession, including the company car. Oh. Ensure that that instruction is carried out. Inform the security accordingly, all right? Yes, sir. Please, sir. Please, don't do this to me. Please. Please leave my office. Please. Sorry. Please, sir. Can you please leave my office? Oh. has left me. I'm alone. 
alone with these two kids. <sighs> if I'm suffering like this because I love you, why can't you do something? Why? Fight for me, Lord. Jesus, fight for me. <laughs> I came to your office and they told me that you had left your home. I'm back. I'm sorry for all I've done. and enjoyed your spirit. <laughs> My day. I am back as a prodigal son. I'm very sorry. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus, you have proved your faithfulness to me. You are a faithful God. Husband. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for bringing back my husband. Ah, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for keeping him throughout this experience, Lord. Ah, thank you for sparing his life. I also thank you for keeping me. Thank you for sustaining me. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For giving him a new spirit and a beautiful heart. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We'll never sleep no slumber. Here's what. 
But all along we have been praying for you. Hey, praise the Lord. I appreciate your prayers. She told me of your moral and spiritual support. Mm. I'm very grateful. Thank you, buddy. We are really happy to see you. You are welcome. Thank you very much, ma'am. We are told you came this afternoon. Oh, yes, ma'am. And um, our prayer and fasting for your family ended just yesterday evening. Yesterday evening? Yes. Mm. That was why we were here yesterday evening to have some prayers with you. Mm. She told me everything. Mm. She said she even left you behind mm. to keep an appointment with her boss in the hotel. And when she was about to fall for the man, that was when the Holy Spirit touched her and she terminated the appointment. Wow! Is that so? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and this morning, that same MD terminated her too and sucked her. You've lost your job? Yes, ma'am. Actually, I lost everything. I, I did not know what was wrong with me. No, no, Mr. Jibadi, you know what? Just be grateful to God for giving you back your wife, your kids, mm. and your home. Yes. That's the most important. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. God, very grateful. God will give her another job. Yeah. And I will work my transfer back to Ibadan. Oh, I will so never leave my family again. Amen. 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 That's all right. I'm pleased, Mr. Jibadi. Um, will you come to church with her on Sunday? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. yes. Yeah. Good. Amen. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. Oh, my God, I know you're not happy. I bless God.
for you. 